Manchester City's victory yesterday in the derby. I think it's fair to say both Emma Hayes and Gareth Taylor probably expecting both teams to win every game from here on in. It really is going to be incredibly close in this title run-in. So we're good to go here. Players take a knee ahead of kickoff as the fight against all forms of discrimination in our sport continues. So it'll be West Ham United to get the ball rolling here. Manchester City got the job done yesterday with their comfortable win in the right now. 15 wins from the last 16 in all competitions. West Ham with the first attack. Oh, and that's attacked by Issei. A wonderful cross on this right-hand side and a chance for Issei inside 20 seconds. What a start that is by West Ham. Nice, good build, patient build-up. Iweki spins out into the channel, has a little look up. I say he completely unmarked. I mean, that's not good enough from, from Jess Carter or Ashley Lawrence there. So we just to sit in between. And she did open the scoring in that FA Cup tie in the first half back in January. Here's Nuskin trying to slide it through to Lauren James. Could be a chance straight away for Beaver Jones. It's brilliant. What a wonderful goal from Chelsea. Nuskin and Lauren James, of course, involved. But what about that for a finish from Aggie Beaver Jones? Spectacular. And then the opposite movements that we talked about as well. Nuskin, even though she's playing a little bit higher up, she gets drawn right out into the wide area there. And Lauren James just takes the space. No one from West Ham at all is really picking her up, really sure of where she is. Able to turn. Great through through there to, to Lauren Jones. Naggy Beam Jones just comes in off the line. Denton can't stay with her. And it's a fantastic finish. Chris movement from Chelsea. What a dynamite opening 90 seconds here. West Ham with a chance straight from the kickoff. And then with their first attack, Chelsea take the lead. And Aggie Beaver just for the Beaver Jones goal. Goal for goal herself here. She has to just touch that around Mackenzie Arnold. She to put pressure on and there. Breaks kindly for Zou here to get it through. And all the way to the far post. Oh, what a chance. She couldn't put it away. Kirsty Smith with the goal mouth yawning. What a chance to equalise. Well, realistically, now West Ham, they should have been putting two goals away. Now, they do really good link-up play. They keep battling down the right-hand side. Just through there, ball across. Poor defending from Chelsea, because once again, they're unaware of where the players are in the box. But Kirsty Smith has... 129 out of 31. No defeats. Eva Jones again. Brilliantly done. Now Lauren James. <laughs> Don't want to give her too many chances. Oh, this is dangerous. And suddenly, Beaver Jones is through the middle, one on one. It's a heavy touch, and that allowed Mackenzie Arnold to make a terrific smothering stop. Could easily have been two. And, and I think the problem there is because Denton's so high, you know, there's, it'd be basically got. Kukovic couldn't win it back either. Uweki, Shimizu. On for Denton. Why not put it in early? Could be a chance here for Hayashi! Offside. Well, that was a brilliant move from West Ham, and they're unlucky, but the goal won't stand. I was just about to say, what brilliant football from, from West Ham there. The patient build-up from moving it from left side to right side. She's on she's on side for me. She's she's clearly on side there. I think it's, it's Lawrence who's playing her on. A little give and go with Beaver Jones. Lauren James still going. Through for Niskan. Couldn't quite pick out Chanka. Buchanan trying to set Beaver Jones away. Terrific ball that was over the top. Lauren James. 
Just like deja vu of all the chances are coming down this left hand side with Beaver Jones and Lauren James picking up the spare ball on the edge of the box. Completely unmarked. Beaver Jones really enjoying herself in this first half. Lovely give and go with once again. This could be a chance for West Ham with Ueki. She's gone for goal. Oh! She's clipped the top of the bar. Oh, that's an astonishing effort from the Japanese international. And it just kissed the top of the bar. I mean, wow, I'm holding my breath there. She does really well traveling the ball. And what she does well, she just cuts across Leopold's as well. She knows exactly what she's doing there. And I think for me, Anna Hansen thinks she's beaten there. Very, very clever play from Ueki. Just doesn't drop quick enough for her, but for me, Shankovic to Ritten Kanarid. She just fell over there, Beaver Jones, and then she goes over looking for a penalty. The referee Megan Wilson has a look and shakes her head. No, I'd, say, I'd say I don't think there's a penalty for me. Up in the air by Buchanan. Say with a chance, and she's blasted over. Well, doesn't that sum up West Ham United in front of goal in this first half? She had a great chance in the opening seconds of it and a great chance in the closing seconds of it. It's a good play again on Hayashi. What a fantastic ball. And she, she's, she's fighting with Jess Carr, but she has to hit the target there. No, I don't know if it's potentially a little bubble up before she has that. Well, what a terrific first half we have seen here. Chelsea in front inside 90 seconds. Brilliant goal from Aggie Beaver Jones. But West Ham have had so many chances. They're so unlucky. Honor Chelsea. I'm sure what Emma Hayes has said here is that they need to get the second goal sooner rather than later. Because that. James has wrapped her foot around that. And Beaver Jones gets the header in. Oh, a little bit of brilliance from Lauren James there. How did she get such a quality cross in from that position? But I think here you see Denton gets drawn to, to James. James just literally just skips past her. Too easy for her to... James. Might take it on here. Well, why not? If anyone can score from there, it's her. And I think that's why she's such a dangerous player for Chelsea, because she's not really got much into the second half much. She's able to get the ball, no one can get near her at all. She just drives into the space. And even with pressure closing her down, she's still able to open up and direct the ball into the bottom corner. Cannon. Lawrence. She's been allowed to run to the dead ball line here and onto the roof of the net. Lawrence. Ramirez wants it. It's a really good running off the ball. Ramirez! And all the way through. Ritten Canary couldn't set anyone up. That's a big, big chance. She made it all herself there. Myra Ramirez with some fantastic movement. But we saw the strength as well. And that's what she brings. Macario gets it back from Lawrence. Lovely give and go. Looks for Ramirez. Oh, is she just going to sneak it off the post? So close. It took an age to get there. But the upright saves West Ham. Oh, she's made quite an impact since coming on, Myra Ramirez. And Macario as well, who made that opportunity. Punishment here. 20 minutes to go, Macario. Oh, she's crossed with herself, because that's a good chance for her. West Ham worked very hard on these. It's a save! Just grazes the top of the net. Hannah Hampton watched it all the way. But it's another one off target for West Ham. You see, obviously, how able to get it over the wall. Just doesn't dip down quick enough. Back to Lloyd Poles. Laid off back to Lloyd Poles again. It didn't get hold of it. Yeah, it didn't look really too convincing there for but Lawrence. Lots of space. Looking for Kirby just behind it. Walloped away by Denton. 
And I think you just be expecting Ritten Canard there. If you if you see the balls on the opposite side. Now, surely a second goal would be enough. In by Macario. Great header away by Uwek. Lawrence to deliver. Keeper started to come, change their mind. Is that gone all the way through? Ramirez, what a run that is. Trying to pull it back for Wright and or Kirby. Oh, good header away. Ventisiak. Cuthbert. Well, we've seen them find the top corner from there before, haven't we? Not this time. We have. Everyone back for West Ham to defend this corner kick. Should be taken by Macario. Taken down by Cuthbert. Oh, what a strike! That's quite some way to seal the points. Aaron Cuthbert with a cracker. Her seventh of the season. Her best tally of the netting six last season. There's number seven. And it's the goal that Chelsea wanted to make it 2-0 and surely seal the victory. And, and she hasn't let me down because I was singing her praises that she'd be able to do that from the edge of the box. Here's a great touch then. What an absolute quality finish. Takes it on her chair, she's bouncing up. The power behind it. Straight into the roof of the net. Kenzie Arnold stood no chance. Emma Hayes right behind that. Knew that was destined for the back of the net. She scores against West Ham for the seventh time in her career. Mires. Brilliant. Trying to find Fran Kirby. Forced wide by Sissoko. It's Macario. Oh, just couldn't quite curl it past Mackenzie Arnold. Well, it's tied to the top, but Chelsea are back in the number one position by the narrowest of margins. They've got the job done here, having been made to work extraordinarily hard. Emma Hayes knows her team have been in quite a game here. In front, inside 90 seconds, a lovely goal from Aggie Fever-Jones.